Hello video creators! Today, we're diving into the features of a tool called Markers Pro, designed to enhance your efficiency when working with markers in Premiere Pro. Let's start by exploring how easy it is to manipulate markers. You have the flexibility to offset markers by frames or seconds using the left and right arrows, or effortlessly move them to your playhead position with a click of this button. Simply toggle between seconds and frames by clicking the respective word. You can adjust the input box value by dragging the mouse within it. Holding Shift will change the value faster, while holding Control or Command on Mac will do it more slowly. An essential point to note is that the extension also works with markers and clips. If you're dealing with markers in a sequence, ensure that none of the clips are selected. There are several ways you can target markers. In and out points, before playhead, after, or both. For clips, only before and after playhead selections are applicable. Adjust your settings with the provided toggle buttons. This button also controls the handling of special markers whose start or end is outside the in and out selection. When unlinked, the start or end outside the selection won't change its time. It's important to remember that marker targeting is applicable to all actions except for adding or pasting markers. Take control of marker colors by selecting your preferred hue from the drop-down menu and simply clicking the word color to apply. You can also delete, cut, copy, and paste markers with those buttons. Markers Pro introduces the feature to save targeted markers as presets. Click one of these buttons while holding down the shift key, and it transforms from a dash stroke to a fill, indicating saved presets. To add saved markers, a simple click will do the trick. Adding markers with Markers Pro is a breeze. Whether it's for the entire duration of the selection in a sequence, in and out points, or individual clips, you have the flexibility you need. Just click the designated button and provide a name, comment, and marker color. Remember, when the window pops up, you can start typing the name right away. Press Enter to add the marker, or if you're adding a comment, press Tab. Note that when the comment field is active, use Ctrl or Command plus Enter on Mac to add the marker. Choose your marker color from the drop-down menu or cycle through options by clicking the word color. For your convenience, the Undo and Redo buttons are available to reverse or redo markers pro actions. Due to the limitations of the Premiere Pro API, standard Undo and Redo functions may not work consistently with extensions, necessitating the development of our own Undo and Redo functionality. And there you have it, a comprehensive quick start guide to Markers Pro. Don't forget to grab your free trial at eScripts.com. Happy editing!